Ever wondered how a person with borderline personality disorder, or BPD, chooses their favorite person? Borderline personality disorder is a mental health condition characterized by intense emotional instability, fear of abandonment, and unstable relationships. Within this context, the concept of a favorite person, or FP, emerges. However, it's not as simple as picking a favorite color or food. Instead, the choice of an FP is a complex emotional process, deeply intertwined with the individual's psychological state. The FP often becomes the focal point of the individual's emotional world, the person they turn to for validation and reassurance. However, this relationship is marked by intense highs and lows, a reflection of the underlying emotional turbulence characteristic of BPD. Several factors influence the dynamic of an FP. First, the core fear of abandonment in BPD leads individuals to seek intense connections, hoping to stave off feelings of loneliness. This fear can drive the individual to form a deep emotional bond with their FP, often at an accelerated pace compared to typical relationships. Second, individuals with BPD have a tendency to idealize others, projecting onto them near-perfect qualities. They may believe their FP can fulfill all their emotional needs, leading to an over-reliance on this person for emotional stability. Third, there's a defense mechanism known as splitting at play. This is where the individual sees others as either all good or all bad, with rapid shifts between the two extremes. This can result in a roller coaster of emotions towards the FP, with feelings fluctuating between intense love and severe disappointment. Lastly, emotional dependency is a key factor. The intense emotions and fear of abandonment can lead individuals with BPD to become emotionally dependent on their FP, seeking constant reassurance and validation from them. So the choice of a favorite person is not as straightforward as one might think. It's a complex process influenced by various factors. This intricate dance of emotions paints a nuanced picture of the FP dynamics in BPD, setting the stage for our deeper dive into how an FP is chosen and the dynamics of this unique relationship. Now that we understand the dynamics at play, how exactly does someone with BPD choose their favorite person? Let's delve into this fascinating process. It's important to remember that there's no one-size-fits-all answer here. Each person with BPD is unique, and so is their process of selecting a favorite person. However, there are certain traits that tend to make someone a potential favorite person. These can include empathy, emotional availability, shared interests or experiences, and unconditional acceptance. Empathy and emotional availability are key. Remember, people with BPD often feel emotions intensely and fear abandonment. They're looking for someone who can understand their emotions and provide the support they crave. That's where empathy comes in. An empathetic person can understand and share the feelings of others, making them a comforting presence for someone with BPD. Emotional availability is also crucial. This means being open and able to express one's emotions and being receptive to others' emotions as well. This kind of openness can provide the validation and reassurance that individuals with BPD often seek. Shared interests or experiences can also play a role. Common ground can foster a sense of connection and understanding. If you share a hobby, a passion, or even a similar life experience, you may feel like a kindred spirit to the person with BPD. And then there's unconditional acceptance. Individuals with BPD may experience rapid mood swings and emotional fluctuations. They may seek a favorite person who they believe will offer unwavering acceptance and love, regardless of their emotional state. But remember, these are just potential factors. Every person with BPD is different, and their choice of a favorite person can be influenced by a variety of other factors and personal preferences. It's a complex process, as nuanced and individual as the people themselves. So a favorite person is often someone who can provide emotional support, understanding and acceptance, but the specifics can vary widely. This is a journey of connection, a quest for understanding, and above all, a testament to the human need for companionship and love. What does the relationship between a person with BPD and their favorite person look like? Imagine a roller coaster, with dizzying highs and heart-stopping lows, twisting and turning at breakneck speed. This is the intensity and instability often found in the dynamic between a person with borderline personality disorder 
and their favorite person. It's a relationship marked by passionate attachments and devastating separations, largely driven by the phenomenon known as splitting and fear of abandonment. Splitting is an unstable defense mechanism where individuals perceive someone as either all good or all bad, with rapid shifts between the two extremes. One moment, the favorite person might be seen as the best thing that ever happened to them, the next, they could be viewed as the worst. This can lead to a confusing and emotionally turbulent relationship. Another key aspect of this dynamic is the demandingness and emotional dependence. Individuals with BPD often seek constant attention and reassurance from their favorite person. This can place a significant emotional burden on the relationship. The favorite person may feel overwhelmed by the intensity of the emotions and the constant need for validation. Then there's the push-pull behavior. Fear of abandonment can lead the person with BPD to push away their favorite person due to anxiety or anger. Yet, their emotional dependence often leads to frantic efforts to reconcile. This can create a cycle of distancing and reconciliation that can be exhausting for both parties involved. Navigating this dynamic can be challenging. It requires patience, understanding, and a lot of emotional resilience. But it's also important to remember that these behaviors are not intentional. They are driven by deep-seated fears and intense emotions. As you can see, the dynamics with a favorite person can be incredibly intense and complex, presenting significant challenges for both individuals involved. These dynamics aren't easy to navigate, but understanding them can be the first step towards fostering healthier relationships. To wrap up, let's summarize what we've discussed about how a person with BPD chooses their favorite person. The process is complex and multifaceted, influenced by factors such as fear of abandonment, idealization, splitting, and emotional dependency. The favorite person often embodies empathy, emotional availability, shared interests or experiences, and unconditional acceptance. However, this relationship can be marked with intensity, instability, demand, and a push-pull dynamic, making it challenging for both parties. It's important to note that having a favorite person is not a defining characteristic of BPD. Everyone's experience with BPD and FP dynamics is unique and individual. The complexities of such relationships emphasize the importance of seeking professional support. This can assist in developing healthier coping mechanisms and managing relationships more effectively. Remember, whether you're dealing with BPD yourself or in a relationship with someone who is, it's crucial to prioritize your own well-being and seek professional help when needed. You deserve to be in a supportive and fulfilling relationship.